Thank you so much for joining us again for our Destination Inspired Flower Box series. Um, for those of you who ordered last time, I hope you enjoyed the Provence inspiration. Today we're going to travel to Cartagena and that is one of our favorite places as you probably know. I'm going to do an arrangement that's kind of inspired by the crazy tropics, um, the meetings of many worlds, which is very much Cartagena. So the old world, sort of old Europe, colonial architecture clashing with the intensity and the vibrancy of the Caribbean. The bright colors, the beautiful architecture, um, the vivid color, but also the romance and the moodiness that comes with Cartagena. So we're going to start today with this beautiful vase. This is actually from Middle Kingdom. It's white porcelain, one of my absolute favorite go-to vases of all time. Um, you can actually order this on uh, our Shopify site, Invited site. A trio of these vases is available. You can order three as a set. They're sort of the perfect vase for anywhere in your house. I would do three down a dining room table. You could do one on a coffee table, one on the entry table. There's so many options, but it's a beautiful, beautiful vase. It's classic, it's gorgeous, it's perfect. So, start with fresh, clean water. And then, we're gonna start with some of these gorgeous blooms. Cartagena is a mix of many things. It's not just tropical. It's a mix of, old, as I said, old world Europe, lots of sort of romantic European influence with the craziness of the Caribbean. So, one of my favorite flowers there is bougainvillea. So, to conjure up the beauty of the bougainvillea, I'm going to use this super special clematis vine. It opens up to have a similar shape and color, very much like the bougainvillea vine. So, we're going to start with this. Cut it so that you clean off most of the leaves, and then the leaves that are remaining are going to rest at the lip of the vase, so they're never in the water. You're going to arrange these so they crisscross. This will give you a nice foundation. I'm probably going to use five stems right now. So that gives you some indication of what you'll need for this vase. And then next, I'm going to try some of these amazing tropical leaves, philodendron leaves, one of my favorites. They bring in that beauty of the tropics that you see these all over Cartagena. In the courtyards, in the streets. Usually the bougainvillea is sort of spilling down the balconies and the green leaves are tucked away inside of courtyards nestled against uh, beautiful buildings. You can see the shape is sort of filling out the arrangement. I'm going to use probably six right now. And then I'm going to add a few of these amazing um, anthurium leaves. They're kind of a heart shape. They're darker green, so they add some texture and they add some volume. Also contrast. That'll just give it kind of this like juicy, yummy, tropical sexiness. And then these calla lilies are going to add some of the drama that Cartagena definitely brings. It's this beautiful deep plum color, aubergine color. And have fun with this, like nothing needs to be perfect. Remember just to work your way around the vase, arranging in a crisscross pattern. So the flowers hold each other and I like to turn things so I can have a look. I'll probably use seven of these in this arrangement. You can see how my faux bougainvillea is just starting to open and then we're going to add these incredible peonies. This peony is insanely special. It's a salmon color. It's sort of, it's not quite pinky pink. Um, it's a bit of a warmer pink and it opens up to be just kind of the most amazing shape. So when you use these, kind of nestle them in so they're framed by these big leaves. We do lots of parties in Cartagena. Uh, we have a home in Cartagena. Luis is from Cartagena, my partner and husband. He, so 
sort of introduced me to the, the many wonders of that city and it, it never ceases to amaze me. And these are just gonna add some of that romance that I'm talking about with the peonies. And then next, I'm gonna add some of these fabulous protea. They're not necessarily something you would see in Cartagena, but they add that sort of level of exotic, which is very much Cartagena, which is why I chose these. And also I obviously love the color. Sometimes I clean off all of the leaves when they travel. The bloom is really strong, but sometimes the leaves go a bit brown, which is typical of these protea after traveling very far. do five of these protea. Again, take up some of the leaves that are not necessary. Make sure you don't have leaves in the water. You have to move a few leaves so you can get your protea in there. Give it a little twirl. You can see how amazing the color is. That deep aubergine next to that beautiful salmon pink peony next to the protea, which is kind of a bridge between the two. And then these gorgeous leaves. They come as sort of big stems. I like to take off the stem, the individual leaves. And they have this stripe of pink, which picks up the palette really beautifully. And these are just a nice little extra touch. They can add a little more leafy drama. They can also pick up the color from the calla lilies. It's quite special. And I love this color palette. Let's see. Give it a twirl. And now what I would do to finish it is add a few more of my fabulous clematis slash bougainvillea. <laughs> uh, you can see how beautiful these little flowers are. They're like the finishing touch here. Also, all of these things are incredibly long lasting. As I put these boxes together, you know, I'm trying to bring you guys some interesting things that are not typical, things that you might not find in all the other flower boxes, um, or things that you might not think to order on your own. But these are all really strong elements and they're gonna give you a lot of beauty for many days. And what I like to do is take a look at it, see where you might need a few finishing leaves, like down here, you need something to soften the edge of the vase. So I'll add another leaf. Do the same over here. It carries, sort of carries your eye across. Basically, you're ready to go. I'm gonna finish it off with these two beautiful callas. Just for a little more of that aubergine color. They add so much depth to the arrangement. And there you have it. A little bit of drama from Cartagena. The tropics, the Caribbean, old world elegance. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget the Middle Kingdom vase. We're also going to be selling a collection of mini vases that you could use and I'll, I'll post a few images of that as well so you have a clever solution to using lots of small vases in your home. Enjoy, take care, be safe.